Alright, so for another episode of Health and Well-Being. This is a little mental trick I play on myself on those days where the effort of existing seems monumental. Uh, and just the idea of trying to do any little activity seems too much. The overwhelming feeling on some of those days that nothing I'm going to do is of any consequence. Anyway, that seems a little pessimistic and nihilistic, but um, th this one's a little bit fun, so let's, let's move into that. We don't want to dwell too much on the, the negative aspects of the feeling itself, but the thing I ended up finding just immensely fun to do is I have on my computer or in a, a paper notebook with a pen um, just unending story ideas, character designs, all sorts of things like that. And it's really kind of fun to flip through and just see these little bits of things that could be played with more. And you go through it, n no obligation to do anything to them. But I oftentimes find as I dig through some of these lists that inevitably my mind will come across one and go, oh, I remember that. That was such a cool idea. And like, if I had, if I take this and go this, and I find myself immediately start, you know, fleshing some of it out further into an idea or in a concept to play with. And in that kind of jump from feeling like nothing is worth putting any effort into and the world doesn't matter, nothing matters right now, to having this thing that absorbs my passion and my interest and just pulls me right in. And I just start playing with it and pulling it out and I get excited about it and I really get into doing it. And yes, it's just writing a little bit more, but there's a moment when you're doing that and you go, oh, and I could do this, and oh, what, how would I take that further? And I can stop myself right there and go, I'm in an energetic state of trying to do things and interested in things again. And it's possible in that state to then get up and go, I'll come back to it in a minute. I just go take care of some of the dishes in the kitchen, or, um, which is not usually a problem for me, but um, I'll go do a load of laundry, or I know I'll go, you know, uh, do some bills while I try to figure out how I'm going to do this, and just tap into that excitement and that energy for just a few minutes. You don't have to do it for long periods, but any of those little things you can snag in five minute chunks as, you know, borrowing some of that passion and energy from the things you stirred yourself up with and throwing it into those little things as kind of like breaks to let yourself work over some ideas or some things to play with or things you're excited about. And so I, I'm, I've discovered that this is something I've kind of unconsciously taught myself to do. Um, because for years I built this sort of massive database of little snippets of ideas. And sometimes it's not like, I want to take this one idea further. Sometimes it's like, here's a thought. I'll take this idea, this idea, and this idea. What happens if I mush them together? Can I make a story that works with them? And just that kind of... And it's not always stories, sometimes it's an idea for a piece of artwork that I'll paint, or a sculpture that I'll sculpt, or a recipe that I want to make, or any of those kinds of things. And they're just little ideas that occurred to me, you know, walking down the street, see something that looks odd, and wonder, you know, what's the story behind that thing? And you come home and you write it down, and you have an idea, and sometimes you look at an idea and go, oh, that's the stupidest thing ever. If you really want to make it meaningful, you do this. And just run with it. The other thing, a little simpler, maybe you don't do that kind of thing, but a little bit simpler is to go through and look at photographs, pictures, 
um, uh, essays you've written for homework and whatnot, and just just the accumulation of ideas and thoughts you worked on in the past, and come up with puns to title them with. So, like, if you did a paper on, you know, uh, Ben Franklin, let's say, and it, it, it doesn't even have to be good. You could do something like, you know, on being Frank, Lynn, and just, like, it, it's not even good, but it's still goofing around with it, and you're just playing right now. Get yourself giggling about it sometimes, have a little fun with it, do something absurd with something. And now when I go back through and look at some of those lists, I see those stupid things I've titled different things I was working on at different times. And it gives me a chuckle, and it reminds me of what's in them, and I go into them, and I can change the title over and over and over again. Um, I can take it off in a weird direction. Um, and you can do... You can do... Um, sort of like puzzle solving or things like that where like you make a puzzle and then try to remember the solution you made for it just little things that you used to do that you can go back and play with again ideas puzzles game ideas whatever and you can dabble with because it doesn't matter and when you're playing with them you get reminded of the state of mind you were in when you made them, things you were excited about, things you're passionate about, things that speak to you in a meaningful way, and you can do them because they don't matter and they're simple little things. And as you do them, you bring up some of that energy that gets you past some of those hurdles. Or at least that's the way it works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Give it a shot if you want it. I don't know. But uh, hopefully there's something there that might help you out. And I'll see you for the next episode.